Good morning guys, welcome to today's video. Today is Monday and it is super dark out. It is super dark and dreary outside today. I put this light up here, it's this little light. I don't think I have it good because it's making us look weird. Like you can see the shadow on our face. Wait, is that better? I think that's a little bit better. Good morning guys and welcome to today's video. It is dark and dreary and rainy and yucky outside but still warm and it's supposed to be warm until December 31st. Every time I turn on the camera now Ellie's like I better lick your necklace. Ellie that's gross. Don't lick my like don't don't nick don't lick my necklace. She's like but Laura I really want to lick your, your necklace. Recently someone said that they wanted to have a video of our dogs and to see our dogs more. I guess we haven't really been showing them a lot. We've been more focused on all of the farm animals, but now that it's starting to get dark and dreary and muddy and yucky outside, um, maybe we should start sharing our dogs a little bit more often. Sophie and I decided we are gonna do the love challenge with our dogs. It's called the love challenge. We've done it with our horses before to see if our horses really love us. Ellie, we know you love Ruby, my go. necklace. Ruby, go. go. So, how this is going to work? How's it going to work, Sophie? I don't know. We're going to do three different challenges with all of our dogs, and we're going to see which one is the most loving out of all of our dogs. So, let's introduce you guys to the dogs. First off, we have Ellie. Ellie is my Yorkie puppy. Every time I say her name, she thinks she needs to get close to me. We've done videos to see how trained our dogs are. We've done videos, we've done tons of different videos over the years with our dogs. This one is gonna be totally different. Sit. 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 <laughs> Sit, good girl. So this is Ellie, she's one year old, and she's my puppy, and I think she's gonna win because I think she's the most loving. This is Daisy, she's three. Um, Yep, she's three. She's three, and she is definitely the most loving. She is super sweet. What breed is she? Dalmatian. She is a Dalmatian, and, and she's deaf. So we might have to modify the one of these challenges because it involves being able to hear, so it might be more difficult for her. She already wins the first <laughs> yeah. I only know what one of them is. <laughs> she's definitely sweet. All right, number three is Ruby. Ruby, Ruby. Uh -huh. Sit, Ruby sit, sit, sit. Okay, all the dogs apparently love Sophie. <laughs> all of them just left, except for Ellie. Did you see how sweet she is? She just came back to check on me. <laughs> they thought you were going to get food, so they wanted to go with you. <laughs> so Ruby is our golden doodle. She's ignoring me now. She's 10 years old. I think she's almost 10 years old. She's nine, almost 10 years old. She's getting up there in age. She loves me, Ruby. She loves me more than anything. When I go to bed, she goes to bed. When I wake up in the morning, if Sam comes downstairs first, she stays in bed. She stays, she stays and she waits for me. She's like our sweet little teddy bear and I love her so much. She is our family dog. She loves everybody in our family and I think she's definitely one of the sweetest but she doesn't really pay attention as much. That's the lab in her. She just kind of does her own thing all the time. So I don't think she'll show, I don't think it'll come out in the, in the challenges very well that she is the sweetest, but she's definitely one of the sweetest. So this is Molly and she's our border collie. Hey, Molly. Listen, she's growling. That's Daisy. Daisy's growling because Molly's sitting next to you. She rarely ever growls. She's growling. I think that should subtract a point. No. That'll be our second test. No. Anyways, this is Molly. She is our border collie. She belongs to Gabby, our 16 year old daughter, and she is three and a half. She'll be four in March. She's over three and a half. She's almost four. And she is the least loving <laughs> of all of our dogs, at least in the classical sense. She doesn't like kisses. She doesn't like kisses. She doesn't like snuggling. She doesn't like a lot of things, but she's, it's almost like it's because she's just more of a serious kind of person. She's very much like Gabby. She's not affectionate. She doesn't show that she's caring, but underneath those brown eyebrows of her. She is honestly one of the sweetest dogs in terms of she would save you and protect you no matter what, but she just <laughs> doesn't show it. 
Come on up, Molly. All right. All right. See, she gets very angry. <laughs> they both look mad. <laughs> they don't want to be near the other one. Look at Daisy. She's like, <laughs> mm. All right, so let's start with challenge number one. She's like, I got a kiss now too, right? Challenge number one is the cuddle test. So we're gonna see if how cuddly each dog is. So give her some cuddles, like hug her, kiss her, squeeze her, see how she likes to be. She seems pretty happy. This is what she lives for. This is, yeah, this cuddling is Daisy's thing. Now let me see if she'll cuddle with me. Come here, come here, come here. <laughs> to win the cuddle test, they have to be able to be cuddly with everybody in the family, not just, not just their owner. And she's obviously very cuddly. <laughs> very cuddly. She can, she just melts right into you. All right. So she definitely gets the high point for being cuddly. Okay, so let's try dog number two. <laughs> Cuddle her up. <laughs> she's not. She's growling. <laughs> she does not, don't push her. She does not like to be kissed. She doesn't snap or she doesn't do anything bad, but she growls she and she pins it. her ears. Her ears are completely pinned <laughs> back. Okay. Now let's see what happens when I try and, it's okay. She doesn't even like you. I know, she doesn't even like me. Molly, come here. Come here. Oh, nice girl. Nice girl. She's peeing. <laughs> she definitely does not like me. She doesn't like, doesn't feel comfortable with that kind of stuff. Gabby has never been one to cuddle and snuggle her dog. She's always been, showed affection in different ways. She does cuddle her and she does scratch her, but she, I don't know. She's just not the cuddliest dog. So winner so far is Daisy. All right. Your dog isn't either, but you can actually hold her. So we have Ellie here. Ellie. That looks like <laughs> so you kiss her and she kisses you back. All right. So I'm going to be honest here. I definitely don't think Daisy Ellie wins the cuddle. She competition play with the toy. because she doesn't like to be cuddled she absolutely hates to be held hates to be cuddled unless she wants to be she'll come and lay on my lap but she doesn't want me to hold her Daisy's like it's so here let me do it so she is sweet she's definitely sweet but don't lift my necklace but being held being held has never been her favorite thing ever but she is pretty sweet yes you're pretty sweet Look at how sweet you are. Yeah. All right, so let's do Ruby. All right, our last contestant is Ruby. Ruby. Come here. She's so fluffy. She is fluffy. I know, I'm so jealous. All right, clearly Daisy wins the cuddle challenge. <laughs> That's all she lives for is to be cuddled. Molly's over there on the ground. This is not her thing. That's my dog. Yeah. She's like my human. She growls, but it's more like a moan. Like if you rub her, she moans the whole entire time. Like she loves to be held and loves to be cuddled. What about you, Ruby? What do you think? Hey? She's content. <laughs> here. Come here, Ruby. Come here, baby. Come here, Ruby. Her tail is wagging, and she seems happy, but she's just, oh, such a good girl. She's moaning, too. Yeah. Yeah, you love that? You love it? Big good girl. All right, definitely loving. Definitely loving. Oh. Oh. All right, now they're all leaving Bye. again. All right, so we know that they're all loving in their own way, but Daisy definitely takes the cake for that one. You take the cake. All right, so the second one is we're going to see how our kind our dogs are to each other. Um. <laughs> this is gonna be a hard one. Ellie's over here asking crazy. All right, Stay. put her between Ruby's paws. Ellie, yeah, Ruby's paws. Stay. 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 Stay, Stay Ellie. Stay. <laughs> Stay! Stay! <laughs> Alright, so clearly Molly is perfect. She listens Stay. so good. Clearly Ruby is so good. Stay, Molly. Stay, Molly. 
Apparently my dog. Look at is how dead. cute they look. You gotta keep doing this. All right, put my dog. You guys, stay, stay. Stay. Look, look. That stay, Ellie. Stay. Stay. Oh my gosh, I'm getting like the best picture of all of our dogs. Oh my gosh, if I can get her to look at me, look at get Daisy to look at me. Look, Daisy. Don't call her. Yeah. Look, you guys, they're all together happily. I don't burn. <laughs> if Daisy would look over here. All right, well, that's good. So, who would we say is the best one at the being together? Molly. Just stay. Treating the other dogs kindly. I say it's Ruby really is the one that does that. She's well, friends. Stayed perfect. She's friends with all the dogs. Um she's the babysitter on the group. Molly hates Ellie. Daisy. She fits yeah. in. She fits in. Molly and Ellie have a love-hate relationship, but these two are best friends. These two over there, and actually those ones are best friends. And these ones are best friends. All right, so we have Ruby won that one. Ruby, you're such a good girl. You should add And Daisy won one. the other one. Uh, right, so Sophie thinks that Molly should get a point too because she stayed so good. Here they are all climbing on the bed my together. My dog's deaf, so she doesn't. Yeah, she so. Use. Yeah. But you said they're good. So she wins for cuddliest dog for sure. Even her feet are spotted. Even her feet are spotted. Well, let's see if Ellie can win get some points in this next part of the challenge. So this last challenge is going to prove who's the sweetest dog. The one, Sophie and I are gonna to pretend to cry and the dog with the most empathy for their owner is going to be the one that comes to try and make them feel better. It's the challenge. My dog wins. Here's the dogs, here's the dogs. <laughs> She hates me because I have Ellie. I take Ellie everywhere with me. I love Ellie. I pay attention to Ellie and she hates Ellie. So she doesn't love me and yet she still came, was the first one. Was the first one to come and love me when she thought I was sad. That's amazing. That makes me even love Mo I love Molly. I love Molly for so many reasons. You didn't film the after part where she was playing with her toy, so excited. <laughs> Ellie always comes no matter who cries. Let's see if she who goes to Sam when Sam cries. Get out of my necklace. Okay, cry, Sam. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why Molly came to me when I cried. She was so good. But Ellie de definitely feels other people's emotions and wants everyone to be happy. So who's the winner? Daisy. No. Of that challenge, Ellie did two times. Of that challenge, Ellie. Yeah, okay. So I think we should pick the winner. <laughs> Ruby did not win that challenge at all. She's like, I'm just busy laying here in my own bed. I definitely think that all of our dogs are super affectionate and super loved. I think they all know that they're loved. She doesn't know anything. Ruby likes to be rubbed, but she doesn't like to like make other people feel <laughs> happy. She's more selfish. My dog gets a point for being deaf. Yeah, your point dog gets a point for. My dog your dog gets a point for being deaf. I think they all win. I think they all win. I think they're all winners. We love our dogs so much. I know you guys all love your dogs too. We spend a lot of time just playing with them and just cuddling with them, usually at night when we're in the house all the time. And I know we don't show them very often and you guys feel a little disconnected from them. So I wanted to make that video so that you guys can see that they're all, all happy and healthy and loved. Don't you know that you're beautiful?